did you just see Ariana DeBose? She's getting like completely bullied. If you say you don't like it, then you're attacking her. If you say you liked it, you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, what's up? It's Michael. Yo, uh, so we're going to jump right into it. I'm here with Jackie Dean, of course, the producer extraordinaire. What's uh, up? The, the 22 year old producer extraordinaire singer. Hey. Just dropped, we hate him. We hate him. <laughs> <laughs> He's one of those guys that you just hang around and you feel old. Let me tell you, yeah. let me oh, tell man. you, I was in the green room before we get to trending. This is a funny story because younger people, they just know things that you don't know anymore. Yeah the terminology or the the slang oh my god so we're in the green oh. room right and there's a lot of comics that that smoke out okay. and dean comes in and goes yo it's loud in here loud and all of us go what loud what do you what do you talk there's no music and he goes no loud today is when it that means there's a lot of smoke in here the, it smells smoky <sighs> So when somebody goes, yeah. yo, man, it's loud and there's no music, that means it smells like weed. It smells like weed? Yeah. Oh, I did not oh know that. Oh, my God. I well, felt- I thought I was cool because I, like, have myself in a chokehold. All the TikTok girlies say that. I, like, follow all these 20-year-olds on that? TikTok. Hold on. Let me guess. Let me guess. <laughs> I'm in a chokehold. That would mean this has gotten me, like, oh, my God. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. <laughs> so I'm obsessed as I'm in a chokehold. I'm in a chokehold. Dude, you know what blew me away is the new thing for – how many people you hooked up with is yeah. body counts. Oh, they call yeah. it like, what's your body what's count? Your body count. It's so romantic, right? Oh my God. <laughs> it's like, so girl, what's your body count? I'm like, wow, that's it's a gr- savage. <laughs> it's so savage. It's so sad. All right, let's jump into some trending stuff. Look, oh. there's a bunch of depressing stuff in the news, <sighs> but uh, we cover not, not politics or heavy news unless it's like a, a absolute huge story. Mm-hmm. And we're not the... We're not the show to discuss Ukraine and things like that. No, if you not. want that, go to another outlet. Uh, we Check talk about like that. pop culture stuff. Yeah. So I just want to be clear in that. So if you're like, there's so many more important, because you get that all the time, that there's so many important things in the world and you talk about that. Yeah, you got shows for that. Exactly. That's not what we're doing. No, and <laughs> I know nothing about that stuff. And not, not to be an expert to give my opinion on it. First trending story I want to talk about, Lee Singer, and we're going to start with some good news, yeah. right? Because there's so much dark stuff in this trending. Lead singer of um, uh, Plain White Tees, Tom Higginson. Higgins. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this guy shows up to this hospital in uh, Bakersfield, California, and the girl's an eight-year-old cancer patient. Mm. And he shows up, and her name is Delilah. Ugh. And he comes in and uh, sings, Hey There, Delilah. Hi, Delilah. Hey there, Delilah. What's it like in New York City? I'm a thousand miles away. You look so pretty, yes you do. <laughs> Times Square gets not as bright as you. With all the negative stories we have in the day <sighs> or throughout the news, this is great that Tom took time out to do this for an eight-year-old cancer patient. She's been going through this for four years. Wow. You know, and I used to, when I lived in Miami and uh-huh. other places, we would go to the hospital. And uh, talk to these kids. Mm. And it's so amazing when you think you have a bad day and then you talk to a six-year-old kid with cancer. And here's the thing is they don't even, I don't, I don't think, I don't know if they grasp dying, but they're living every day to the fullest. They really are. It's, you know? it's. Honestly, is it like Patch Adams where Robin Williams was like in the hospital dealing with all the kids, yes. cancer patients? Mm-hmm. And I honestly feel like, they like comedy and joy just comes out of those kids. It does. Like I, I, I literally always have to take a step back because we talked last week about how I'm losing my hair yes. and I have to check myself and be like, uh, Jacqueline, <laughs> there's cancer patients. It's- yeah. But, but you know, like I understand your thing too, is because you're going through something traumatic for yourself. And sometimes we all got to take a step back and go, yo, check we yourself. don't, we don't, you know, there's, there's a lot worse. I have, a girl in my life that's uh, very inspirational. My wife knows her. Her name is Ashley. I'm not going to say her last name, but she goes through a lot. Mm-hmm. Like she's a cancer patient. She's always in chemo. She's all. And any any time I feel just like lazy or not getting after it, I check out her Instagram and going, "Yo, she's pushing. She's a warrior, yeah. and she she she's amazing. Oh, like amazing. Goodness. And she pushes and she goes and she's going through all this. I just look at her, I I. I DM there or text her the other day and said, you're an inspiration because it's so amazing to see because we get so spoiled 
so spoiled where we don't really realize how easy our life is to you see someone and we need to be reminded about it all the time. Yeah, we got to check ourselves here yeah. and there. And I think what you did just reaching out and like yeah. telling someone, I think we should all do that actually today. Yes. Why don't we do that? Someone that's an inspiration or someone that you feel like is doing good in the world. Let's just let them know. Yeah, right? I do. I do that all the time. I, I try to at least two or three times a week, reach out to someone that's close to me and go, Hey man, and it's just a random message. It'll be, it'll be like, "Hey, I hope you're killing it today. Crush it today." Or, "Hey, let's 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 run this town." You know, it's it's something inspirational. It's something I know they'll like. And then, you know, it just shows you you're thinking about them too. Oh, totally. You know what? One of our costume people for Magic Mike Live went around the theater, the whole space, and just wrote these little, like, you're doing amazing, sweetie. Like, you showed up today. Little notes all over the theater. And I, there was, it was like my, like, eighth show of the week. And I was changing. And I was like, I don't want to go out there right now. Yeah. And I looked up and I saw you showed up. And I was like... Yes. <laughs> you know, it, it was a thing, whether you believe in God or not, religion, I, it's something very simple that has nothing to do with this, but it's about showing up yeah. is I went to the gym early in the morning, uh, yesterday and you know how just back to back stuff will happen and you go, Oh, I'm being tested right now. I'm being tested to see if I'm gonna lose my ish. And man, I was in a parking lot. And I can't stand privilege in a parking lot. You know, this is the worst thing. Like, I don't want to even say what I would do, but I, if, you know, when you're pulling out and you're halfway out, but the people walking by won't stop yeah. and they keep walking and literally you could hit your gas pedal and crush them, but I never would. No. But it's kind of like, you don't know what mind space that person driving that car is in. Like you stop. You stop. Like, I'm two-thirds out of the park. And these little women just walking about like they own the 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 parking lot. Oh. And then every time I try to get out, somebody's cutting in front of me. I'm like, okay, like five times it happened in the parking lot. And every time I was like, oh, they test God's testing me. God's testing me. God. And when I got out, I was like, all right, I passed. And then it was nothing. <laughs> but it's so crazy how we can get consumed so much from just a – bunch of incidents that happen back to back to back to back and it makes you want to lose your mind and then when you're out of it you're like oh that wasn't that bad it's so funny you bring this up because literally today like all my timing got messed up mm -hmm. and every step of the way someone was taken a little longer than they were supposed to which backed up everything else and pulling into your driveway i was like god did not want me to be at the points i was supposed to be at at those times it was like sliding doors yeah where that movie where like you miss something and it's for a reason yeah and well you know you know uh, and i don't want to get dark on this but you yeah. know the same route you take every day like you'll see a car accident <sighs> and then you're like oh if i would have left 10 minutes earlier or God. five minutes earlier. so there's a reason that maybe you didn't leave at that time that yeah. that like, and let me let you know, if you're listening to this podcast, we're talking about pop culture, and it's only going to get darker for a darker. second. Darker. <laughs> it's going to get darker. I want to get serious and talk about this. This is horrible. Allison uh, Holker, mm -hmm. wife of Twitch. Uh, Twitch, she just released her first message on Instagram. She released a couple picture albums of them together and the kids, and she just said that, you know, everybody support through this has helped her a lot. I just want to say thank you for all of the love and support that you guys have sent to me and my family at this time. It has been very challenging and emotional, but you guys have brought so much hope and inspiration to us by sharing stories and memories and moments and different ways that Steven impacted your life. And it's brought us so much hope and inspiration. And I'll get your take on it as well, but it's it's interesting to me how we're quick to dog Instagram and social media. And at the same time, when you go through, like I know when I almost died from COVID, mm -hmm. to see people's, and after I went on Rogan, to see people's messages, it really does. Random people, and this, the random people you don't even know giving you inspiring messages, pulling for you, it really does. I mean, it, it does a lot for you. I think it does just to know that people care totally and the thing is i feel like allison and twitch got us all through the first part of yeah. the pandemic like their happy dance videos like i remember sending them messages i had only met them like once or twice yeah. when i yeah. did the funny dance show and they were just so uplifting 
Yeah. And it just, that was one. Look, now with today's media, it's all death first. Because I, I've worked in news. It's the whole motto in news, if it bleeds, it leads. Like, that's the motto in news. Ooh, that's why they always talk true. about a murder first, an accident, or whatever is the worst story. Mm -hmm. They leave it because in an odd way, that's what people want to hear first. They don't want to hear a good story first. But I always try to start this segment with a good story. Totally. Uh, but when, you know, we since we are so, I don't want to say immune, but we hear about people dying every day since we're all on social media. This one, I wasn't desensitized to. Because a lot of them, you just kind of scroll through. It's like yeah. dead, dead, dead. And that's that's an aggressive word for dying too. Dead when a when they're dead, 76. I'm like, yo, <gasps> do we have to be so aggressive so with the final. deads, TMZ? You know, just like, oh, he passed away. Can we use passed pass away? away? Can we use passed, passed away, away, please? Away. Not Dead. Dead at dead. 28. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I just saw Hayden Penetier's brother. Yes. What is happening? Oh, God. So, so yeah. Twitch threw me, though. That. I didn't know him. I never met him. Mm. But when you see somebody with such a good spirit, a good light, and everybody I talked to that knew him mm. said he was like that, and to wonder, you know, you play that wondering game with yourself. It's like, how could a guy from the outside so happy just take his own life with kids. And that's the thing. I have kids. Yeah. I could see like, I couldn't, I I could never see. The only time I ever thought about suicide is when I was in a hospital mm. and the pain was so bad. I go, if they had a button to eject from life, I would have at that moment because wow. it was so bad. It was so bad, but I don't know how I, it, it's hard to imagine what a person would go through. And I had kids. So I guess, I guess it's just, I don't know, man, if it, he must be going through a different pain or like, I, I feel I like know. there's a lot we don't know. It is. To be perfectly honest. And, and, and I don't want to play the guessing game, but no. what I love is there's a conversation about it now. Yeah. You know, because I, I'm older than you, but when I was young, you know, like even, even Dean's age, when I was 22, mm -hmm. if you said, yeah, I don't feel right in the head, people could say, oh, you're fucked crazy you're loony you know you couldn't say you had mental issues oh totally like i definitely went through a period where i was going to a therapist a psychologist and i i hit it from a lot of people i come from like an italian american family and that's kind of really looked down upon i think still i think i think a lot of uh, cultures it is yeah it's a sign of weakness totally you know what I mean? and yeah. i think especially where twitch was coming from that still is like a sign of weakness and if anything, I like to see the silver lining maybe in it. Maybe it's opening up a conversation and making other people want to seek help that could be in that I hope place. So. I don't I know. I hope so because it her video messes were so heartfelt. Yeah. And you know, it's it's a thing where it just they just seem like so perfect and the family is beautiful and it's like what this man was going through to step away from that, you know, it's just very sad and we'll never know what the real reason is. And we shouldn't know. It's no, not our we business. Shouldn't. And it is but a disease. I, I, it is a disease. Yeah. And that's why I want to start this conversation. Uh, if you're having a problem and you need help, you know, well, I think the number is even easier now. What is that number? Now? Is it six one? Can you Google look it. up the, <laughs> the suicide? I, I think it, they actually made it easy. It's not nine one one. It's like no, six one one um, or five one one or something. See, now it says it's nine eight eight. Nine eight eight. So call that number nine eight eight if you're going through trouble. And then we got another shot. Kelly Pickler's husband, <laughs> Kyle Jacobs, committed suicide, and that was out of nowhere. Yeah. And it's it's um it's interesting that, you know, this is going on. And I don't know if it's suicides going on more than usual, or, or is it that we just see when everybody does anything now? I think it's definitely happening more, to be honest. I, I feel like especially right now, more with public figures. Yes. And I don't know if that has to do with like just TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, like everything is just so heightened. I feel yeah. like the pressure for everything and to keep up with the Jones Joneses and it's just, I feel like it's a lot and people in the public eye are, I think are crumbling a lot I think, faster. I think because, yeah, because it was interesting when I was growing up, when a celebrity, you saw a celebrity, it was like, oh my God, I saw a celebrity. Yeah. Now you just follow them, yeah. you know? And then the problem is too, if a celebrity, is overly sensitive to what people say, you've actually allowed yourself to be on a platform where people can attack you. Ooh. And I'm not saying it's right that they attack you, 
But that's why I like what Taylor Swift did about five years ago. She's on Instagram, but you can't leave comments because you can turn off the comment button. Yeah. But so many people don't do that because they want to see the love. And in that love, when you see the love, you're going to get hate. You got to know that. Totally. I mean, did you just see Ariana DeBose? She's getting like completely bullied over her rap at the BAFTAs. Yeah. So she deactivated her Twitter. Okay. So I want to talk to you about this. We're going to talk about that. This is another trending story. Uh, but yeah, we will talk about Sorry. that. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to Let's jump. Let's not jump ahead because I do want to talk about it. But, but this is to wrap this up. Yeah. Is. There's something going on right now. There is. And we all need to pay attention to it, whether it's Instagram, whether it's social media. We don't know what's going on in the relationships, but what we really need to figure out is if something on social media is causing it, which I think it is because you're only seeing people. The highlight reel. The highlight reel of their life. And it's almost like I feel like there should be, you know how we have all these days, you know, uh, egg eating day, pancake day. There's, there should be let's keep it real day. Ooh. Where everybody on Instagram <sighs> just that. keeps it real. Like, you're not putting any, you're putting a real photo. Mm. So people that look up to you could be like, oh, because I'd rather them go, oh, they're just like me, then I have to do X, Y, and Z to look like that. So I think I, I whoever makes the days. Keep it real day. Have you we heard need of to, the app Be Real? I've heard of the app yeah. Be Real. Similar to what you're talking It's about. similar, but it's because the app, let's talk about the Be Real app real quick. That app alerts you when to take a picture right. and you got to do whatever you're doing. You do it in that moment. Mm -hmm. But I still don't think that's real. I don't know. <laughs> Be real is not real. <laughs> no, it's, it's realer. It's better. Yeah. It's better. Yeah, it's better. But I, I would rather on a major platform, there'll be a day and maybe and maybe we make this a real and send this to Instagram. But I think it'd be great to Instagram to have, hey, whatever day we're doing a be real day where it's not glitz and glam, it's real photos. It's if you're going through a bad day, you're crying. You know, if you're like I, I, I feel like that's getting lost. And the reason why I say that is because we're so desensitized to everything now. Oh yeah. Like death, like no one desensitized. Cares. School shootings, desensitized. desensitized. Everything is like, oh, it happened. It, instead of, oh my God, we need to stop this is, it happened again. Well, no, even my husband, Tommy, was like, oh my gosh, people were like shot and killed at the, one of the Mardi Gras parades. And I yeah. was like, yeah, that, I mean, that like happened when we went. And he was like, that is not the response. See? But it is now. It's it just is now. really sad. It's sad that we've come to a place. I remember, you remember the news that used to not show footage? Now they show people dying Everything. on the news from yeah. footage. That blows me away. I, don't, I remember when I was growing up, the, the big, if you wanted to see people die, I think it was called Faces of Death. You would watch a video. <laughs> Do you know about I, this, scene? I've never heard of it. Was called, what is Faces dude, of this Death? Is when I was, this is like in the, you know, I'm old. This is like a long time ago. So if you want to see people die, and I think it was fake. I think they, they finally came out and said they faked it, but you, they would have people get pulled apart by horses and things like you would think it's real, but it may be real. Maybe not. I don't know. I didn't look, but I heard it was fake though. Okay. So you would be like, Oh my God. So you saw death and I only saw it once. And I saw a person or this dummy get ripped apart by, cause they had two horses and they, I was like, I am never watching this again, oh. but, but I digress. So if yes. you need help, nine eight eight nine eight eight there's something going on and yeah. we need to uh figure it out and we need to help each other and i'm glad there's a conversation going on and our love to kelly pickler our love to allison holker and anyone else that's anyone lost else? someone else in the, um, the struggle all right moving on uh yeah. this is going to be a weird transition but you know we want to make it fun since you people are listening um let's talk about your girl and we'll show a little clip right here did the thing Viola Davis my woman came Blanche Kate you're a genius Jamie Lee you are all of us all right you go ahead because I have thoughts god okay my thoughts I want to give Ariana like kudos to attempting attempting but any good performer and she's an amazing performer I mean she's won an Oscar for West Side Story knows when you're going, when you're hosting an award show, do not try to dance and rap and walk through an audience. You will be out of breath. It's just something you cannot control. You cannot get through. And I'm sorry it fell flat. And oh my do God. You, do you, you're in front of people. I'm in front, but yeah. I'm not in front with, I don't sing. I just do comedy. Yeah. But 
when you're uh, when you're practicing this, yeah, is everyone around you saying, "Oh, this crushes"? She has too many yes people around her. Like anyone? I mean, do you think anybody said, "Oh, this is good"? Or maybe in uh, in rehearsals it was great. Maybe yeah, and you add the audience in, and like and I don't know if she got nerd. It just totally like did not hit at all and the raps weren't even that good no no not at all like our boy eric schwartz sort of wrote the raps he's, oh. a, he's a comedian eric schwartz he's amazing and it, it's a thing where because I, w- I was because if you here's a problem we are right now yeah. with sensitive like people's very sensitive if you say you don't like it then you're attacking her exactly if you say you liked it you're lying <laughs> <laughs> You see what I mean? Exactly. So we're in a place where no matter how bad anything is, anyone that speaks up and say that wasn't good will be attacked because we're in this weird, we're in this weird spot right now in our culture. And I, and I feel like it's going to change very soon. Oh yeah. The pendulum always swings back. The pendulum is swinging back, but we're in this weird space that when somebody puts something out on a public display, you're almost told even in America, if you don't like it, keep your mouth shut. Which is weird that we're in this space. And so if you if you do like it, praise it. But who's really getting bullied now? Like, is it the people that really have an opinion that want to say, just because they don't like it doesn't mean they shouldn't have an opinion. Well, exactly. Look, and I'm not saying hate. I'm not saying, no. I'm not, but you you could be like, yo, that was a terrible performance. Mm-hmm. And that- it did not work. That's not, But when, when it gets mean, that's, yeah. If you're attacking what she looks like or that, no, she looks spe- amazing. She looked amazing, <laughs> but I'm saying I think I think people get also um, they they lose sense of hey that that was a terrible performance. Uh, it didn't work in the room, and then the difference is a person will take it a step higher and start attacking her. Now that's a difference, but they see it as the same, so you really can't tell them. You know, they they don't know how to differentiate. Totally. Oh, to, there was writers, there was producers, there was like all these people involved. Yeah. It wasn't her just being like, yeah. I'm going to do this, you know, like it's a team. And the producer kind of threw her under the bus. He was like, th- it was all her. And I just, I think that's bullshit. Yeah. I, it was, someone had to direct her. Yeah. Right? Well, they knew her camera moves. They knew where she was going to be. It it's was kind of like her. when David Letterman would throw something off the side of a building, spur of the moment, but there was a camera set up to watch it fall. So it's all set up, right? Yeah. Yeah. But, but yeah, it was not good. It was not good. Uh, well, thank you for joining this one. We appreciate you. And we'll see you next time right here on the Yo Show. Say bye, Jackie. Ciao. Grazie mille. Whatever she said. <laughs> <laughs>